Hello everyone, this lecture video is all about the correction of common vision defects. So, as a person grows older, the eye ciliary muscle, this one here, this one holds and assists the opening of the lenses. It becomes weaker. Consequently, the power of accommodation typically decreases and the person suffers from vision defects because of this one also. So, here we will be discussing the different visual defects and how to correct them. Let us start with myopia. Myopia is also known as nearsightedness, meaning to say they can see the clearer object clearly. This is the normal eye, but if you have a myopic eye, you have a clear image of the things nearby to you. Then you have a blurry or have a difficulty in viewing the distant objects. So this is again the inability of the eye to focus on distant objects. Nearsightedness results when light from a distant object is refracted more than necessary. This type of visual defects is most common in youth. This eye defect is usually the result of a bulging cornea and elongated eyeball. What will happen if the cornea bulges from its normal curvature? When we say curvature, normal bending, normal curve. What will happen is the cornea lens systems becomes too convex. When we say it becomes too convex, it bulge outward too much it, such as this picture here so this is the image of the retina in a normal eye so this one here the image defected from this one it says that the image lies on the retina if you will remember on the parts of the eye the retina is this one at the back of the eye so the normal eye typically uh transforms the visual image here in the normal eye the image is projected on the retina on this one but on a person with a myopic condition or myopia, nearsightedness, the image is being formed in front of the retina, this one. Because if you will observe here, the cornea and the lens here is normal. They are in normal curve, normal curvature. But here in a myopic person, it bulges outward. When we say it becomes too convex, it bulges outward too much. So when that happens, there is a too much refraction or bending of light. So the image, instead the image to be formed, on the retina itself, it will be formed on the front of the retina, this one. Not on the exact retina, but on the front here. So that is the condition of myopic person. That is why they can see the objects nearby to them very clearly, but the farther objects has a blurry image or they have a difficulty viewing that. Now, what will happen if the eyeball is elongated? If the eyeball is elongated, the retina is at a farther distance from the cornea lens system, which will result in the formation of the image of distance objects in front of the retina as well. So when this happens, again, same with the bulging cornea, the image is being uh, clear on the nearby while the distant objects are blurry. So how do we correct this one? To correct the nearsighted eye or myopia, the patient must use a concave lens or diverging lens, diverging and concave. So this diverging lens or concave lens is needed to reduce the refracting power of the eye lens. If you will put your lens here on the front of your eye, let's say this is a glass. Again, this is the normal image of the retina here, you know, the normal eye. This is the normal eye, the myopic person. And if you use a diverging lens or concave lens, the image will be formed on the retina. This is a diverging lens, meaning to say you are able to concave the, concave the light rays in the cornea and lens. In the diverging lens or concave lens, it automatically refracts or reduces the refracting power of the eye lens here because it's bulging out. So that is how you correct the myopia or nearsightedness. Next type of visual defect is the hyperopia. This is the inability to focus on nearby objects. So this is the opposite of the myopia. So in this case, the image near to you, nearer to you is blurry, has a blurry appearance, and you have a difficulty viewing that. But the farther objects is very clear. The causes of this is the weakened ciliary muscles, the decreased flexibility of eye lens, and the shortened eyeball. So this is the opposite of the myopia. Shortened eyeball here, wherein in myopia, that is an elongated eyeball. So these are the reasons why the lens of the eye can no longer assume the highly convex shape required to view nearby objects. So this is your normal eye, wherein the image is on the retina. If the person has a hyperopic condition or hyperopia or farsightedness, the image is being formed behind the retina here. So, farsightedness most often occurs among adults and occasionally younger persons also suffer from this vision defect. So, farsightedness among the youth is more closely related to shortened eyeball. This one is the shortened, uh, shortened eyeball. And 
when this happens the shortened eyeball it also makes the image to fall behind the retina not exactly on the retina which is in the case of the normal eye but behind that it behind the retina as well so these are the conditions of the farsighted person that's why they are able to see farther objects clearly compared to the nearby nearby objects. So the correction of hyperopia focuses or centers on assisting the eye lens in refracting light. So the problem here is that it refracts less light, so it needs assistance in refracting the light. So the lens that we will be using here is converging lens or convex lens. This is the needed to enable the eye to scan a large field of view and still be at the same distance from the meniscus lenses. So this is the convex lens that is being placed at the front. So this is the condition of the hyperopia person. So if you will put a converging lens or convex, convex lens here, the image will be brought to the retina instead of falling behind the retina here. The next visual defects we have here is the presbyopia. So this is the loss of accommodation ability that usually occurs in aging persons. So that is why presbyopia is automatically translated into the old eye because the ability to accommodate decreases with the age, which is caused by stiffened eye lenses. So when we say decrease in accommodation, it is the gradual loss of your eye's ability to focus on nearby objects. Distant vision usually is not affected, just the ability of the lens of the eye to increase its strength. So that is why this person has a having difficulty in reading her cell phone text. Okay, and sometimes fo uh, uses the eyeglass to focus more on reading on that. So the correction of presbyopia is the use of bifocals here. So these bifocals here, bifocal lenses, sometimes they also use trifocal lenses. Bifocal lenses this has a near distance and intermediate near to sharpen the view of the text that they are being read in the nearby text or nearby objects. So they can focus on nearby objects. And then we have here the next visual defect is astigmatism. It occurs when the cornea and lens has a mismatch curve. So meaning to say when there is an asymmetry, they are not uh, in the same shape or in the same length, same measurement. When this happens to a person with astigmatism, some lines appear darker and sharper because they are properly focused while other lines are not. Such as this one, this is the normal image, but on a person with astigmatism, this is the image that he or she is being viewed or see. The correction for astigmatism is the use of spectacle lens with the opposite symmetry of the astigmatic eye. So for example, if the astigmatic lens is too strong vertically, if it's too strong vertically and too weak horizontally, so you need to use a lens that is diverging vertically and converging horizontally. So it's like this. Let me let me draw that. So they must have an opposing opposing converging. The other side is converging while the other one is diverging. Here the next visual defect is the cataract or cataracts. This one is can be defined as the opacity of the lens of the eye and very common in elderly persons, but some instances Risk your health in the hazard exposure or unsafety exposure to UV radiation, microwaves, nuclear radiation, and certain chemicals that are radioactive. Uh, you may have or you may experience a cataract condition. So the correction of cataract, this is the person with the cataract. Okay, the person with the cataract has a cloudy shade in his pupil or in his iris. So that is why he is unable to see properly and sometimes this can lead to blindness. So to correct these cataracts here, uh, the cloudy lens must be removed. Okay, it is done surgically using a LASIK technology such as this one. So once removed, the patient needs glasses with large positive strength. But there are instances if only one eye is affected, then the bifocals are being used or binocular. The next probable Correction for cataracts is the artificial implantation of lens, such as LASIK technology, LASIK surgery, where, wherein the lens is being implanted on the eye after the removal of the cloudy part in the eye. Next, we have here the correction for detached retinas. Here, the treatment for that is the latest lasers to spot weld the retina to the back of the eye, which I have mentioned in a previous lecture. So, this is the laser and it will... Uh, connect the back of the eye here on the front of the eye. This is the technology for reattachment of retina. Next, we have here for blindness. So, blind person now can have the chance to restore their eyesight. So, for example, if the person has a case of blindness due to burnt, okay, being burnt. So, the technique for that is stem cells. This is for patient 22. So, then for stem cell, this is the after treatment, patient 26, this one. 
after treatment before and then after. So uh, the stem cells are being utilized here in the surgery if the case is burnt and not in burn. So, or innate. Another method is the new technology. This is the bionic eye that lets blind man to see again. So, the Angus 2 system can restore some vision in people made blind by retinitis pigmentosa. This is the pigment in the retina. The patient wears a pair of glasses with a small video camera mounted on it, which captures images. A prosthesis, no longer the pencil eraser, is surgically implanted on the surface of the retina. So, this is the bionic eye. Okay, that is being attached here. There is a prosthesis here that is attached on the back of the retina. Uh, bionic eye here can take images and then it will send it to the back of the eye, the prosthesis, to translate that into an image in the brain. So those are the correction methods that are being applied nowadays for vision defects. So that is all for this lecture in correction of common vision defects.